I told you that, you know, the Wet n Wild, the Fall Runway Beauty display was popping up at Walmarts. Um, I know some on the East Coast, some in the Midwest. Um, it was popping up there, and for some reason, none of mine um, got them this weekend. And I found out that they, for some reason, some of them are not allowed to um, put up their displays on Saturdays anymore. They call that a uh, selling day and they have to concentrate on selling and pushing the makeup as opposed to stocking it. So I don't know. That's what they told me. But of course, the lady in my Walgreens is really nice. And, you know, they got a lot. She said there were boxes upon boxes upon boxes, but she would look through and see if she could find the fall went well for me. Um, but, um, previously to that, just so that you know, since they were not popping up Thursday and Friday is when some of my Walgreens get their shipments and Saturday mornings. So since none of them, uh, had gotten them, um, Friday night, I went to non and they had just put it up. I mean, I checked Twitter and Facebook and they just announced that they put up their full runway beauty collection. Um, so I placed the order now. It was it's six dollars shipping and that's first class and it was like nine fifty for priority and since my Walgreens were all telling me they haven't gotten them in and that they can't put anything up on Saturday and blah 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 I didn't want to take the chance because the last time I ordered the Gilded Age from Nonpareil I must have caught it at you know after it's been up for a while because after I ordered it it said they didn't have it anymore so I didn't want to take the chance that for some reason my Walgreens wasn't getting them or that I was gonna miss it. And so I ordered it and I paid the $10 shipping. Now, the good news is, is they're only $2.99, which is the normal price. Um, you know, the bad news is, is the shipping is ridiculous. I mean, for seven, I think $7, priority, it, it goes priority and short tracking. So I don't know, I, I guess the extra $2.50 is for the boxing, you know, the handling part of the shipping. I found that to be a lot of money. Uh, even for first class, uh, unless they pay extra for tracking and, and sh um, insurance, um, $6 is a lot of money. But, you know, I figured I want these. I don't want to miss them. Uh, and so I ordered it. Well, the next day, the lady that was on my Walgreens, she said that she, you know, they're not supposed to put it up, blah, 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 blah. But she will look for it for me. And she found the box. And she said... I can't put it up, but I will leave it behind the counter. So the next girl that comes in, I'll let her know you're coming to look through the box. And sure enough, it was in that box. So after I paid whatever it was, like $18, well, it was $369 plus another $950. Yeah, like, like $19 to get these three palettes. They got them at my Walgreens. But, you know, I don't regret it, though. But anyway, <clears throat> I got them in. Um, I... You know, again, I don't know what's going to happen with nonpareil. I don't know if it's going to get lost in the mail or anything. So if I can, you know, as I say, it's a, one in hand is better than two in the bush. So I went, I picked them up. And these are the fall, the fall um, colors. According to Nouveau Cheap, these are limited edition. I thought these were going to be permanent because they were in with all the permanent colors. It didn't say limited edition. It wasn't, didn't have like a collection name. It was just in their fall display, which um, in that fall display is regular line items which is how wet and wild this is if this is what wet and wild did, did it's genius they have been putting their limited edition in with regular line items so that when the store orders the regular line they're going to automatically get the limited edition um the um you know except for the pop art so anyway i got them and the first thing i noticed is these are definitely smoky palettes the lid color is definite it's you know it's the darkest color um i haven't even opened these to try them out or anything but um so it looks like this one so it looks like this one is a navy blue with a tan and a beige now i'm not sure how, how this is going to work as the highlight color i would use this as the the contour transitional color and that is the highlight color so that one is camera obscura and i didn't even open them because i have been have full days i got these on saturday night on my way back from a long day i had another long day yesterday um and then you know today i do my video this one's called silent film era which i really like it's a gray with like a salmon and like some sort of a taupey color as the highlight so i like that one that one is silent film era 
And then my favorite, of course, is the purple. It's got that deep, dark purple. Um, almost maybe it looks like a navy. It's probably an indigo. Then you've got your like mauve and then you've got your like silvery gray color on top. So that's gray matters. This is the one I like the best, obviously. Um, so yeah, so they, it, I'm going to say that it was intended to be smoky. The names are like, um, it says, like I said, silent film era. So back then the smoky was what women wore. So it's in with the fall. So they are popping up in your Walgreens. If you're anxious like I am, you can order from Nonpareil, but they, they did state that they have very limited quantities. And like what happened to me with the Gilded Age, after they said they had them, I ordered it and, and they canceled my order. So Nonpareil Boutique and Walgreens, Kmart, and even I heard Walmart. And for some reason, I had three Walmarts that carried Wet n Wild and I went to two of them and they don't have it up anymore. So I don't, they don't even have Wet n Wild anymore. So I'm not sure what happened with that. I can't, I, I didn't swatch these yet. I, I didn't swatch these yet. And I didn't order these from Nampara because for some reason I could, not all her pictures were loading. So I'm glad I got to see this at my wall, wall, wall greens. <laughs> uh, I should probably brought the box back to the back, but um, I haven't swatched these because my uh, right now I just ruined my nail polish. Um, I just quickly did my nails in a white because they are mutilated. And um, but I really did like these colors. Now I haven't tested this, but this might be a permanent color, just a different name. The um, General, Dollar General store they have the 40 of these mega last polishes, but. Um, this was just too beautiful for me not to pick up playing all suits. And I think the original one is not as much glitter. I mean, this is packed with glitter, but again, I haven't swatched it yet. Um, and I had to get this, my red and black and silver. I had to get this. Um, so, um, again, I, I couldn't see the picture, so I didn't order it from Nonpareil, but I, thank goodness I did find them at the Walgreens. They have honestly gorgeous, the colors that they're, that they have are gorgeous. I tempted to get the other ones but again i'm trying to cut back on money it was a beautiful darkened like a deep blue green it's, it's green but it had like a blue undertone and even i said something about the sea or something so it was definitely intended to be a blue green color a beautiful deep red a beautiful deep blue um so i guess for the fall um that's what i noticed in there and so they have you know all the colors and it was gorgeous but again I have so many nail polishes and look how mutilated my nails are. Even the, the nail polish got ruined that I put on because I tried to fix my nails before I did the my video, but they got all ruined. And so right now I have white. Um, so I didn't do swatch. I'll probably on my good nails swatch these two colors for you and I'll swatch these shadows for you during the week.